Today in the crypto space, we see some red action throughout the market. Not much, but this little pullback could be an indicator that we could be getting a nice little fire sale in the, in the next little while. Bitcoin still hovering around that $23,000 level and Ethereum still hovering around that $1,600 mark. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins are pretty much mixed with red and green. However, there's a little bit of a red bias throughout the market. So I want to make sure that we prepare for a potential pullback. In today's video, I want to look at Bitcoin as a a leading indicator i want to look at the general market all together and i want to talk about one altcoin that i feel is really bullish and at the end of the day it belongs to a really really important narrative and we need to prepare to buy the dip so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys welcome welcome if you're new to the channel special welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency we talk about bitcoin ethereum and we look at all coins we look for any opportunities throughout the entire space to either go bullish or bearish it doesn't matter which way we go all we care about is making those gains and if we appreciate that if you appreciate the strategy, which is making gains in crypto, do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Guys, I'm available each and every day here on TikTok, on Instagram, Twitter, obviously here on YouTube. And at the end of the day, we try to time these markets. You know, right now we're seeing some really, really interesting price action with Bitcoin. It's pretty much sideways. And a lot of people are thinking, could this be the opportunity, you know, to maybe get this nice, nice level of support on Bitcoin? It looks like a good plateau. But the momentum is showing that we could come down to a little bit of a breather. And especially seeing that the altcoins are doing that as we speak. It kind of shows me that we could get a continuation to the downside in the immediate short term. Guys, if you appreciate the analysis, join me live 7.30 Eastern time daily. We talk about crypto. We look at the market. We talk about news. And we plan for the next day, guys. We try to stay one step ahead of that market, guys. So right now, Bitcoin is telling me maybe we need a little bit of a cool off. We're going to get into the Bitcoin chart and we're going to use it as a leading indicator. But today's video is all about DYDX, a decentralized exchange. We'll talk about that and we'll look at the TA and come up with a plan where we should be scaling in. A lot of the times I make videos that sound a little bearish. You know, I'm going to give you a heads up. It sounds a bit bearish because I'm looking for buying the dips. And that's not because I'm bearish. It's because I'm so bullish that I want to get in on a fire sale. I want to get in nice and cheap, buy low and sell high. And that's the incentive here. That's the motivation be behind making gains. So you want to buy high and sell low. That's the opposite, right, guys? So um, bear with me here. We're going to look at good entry positions on DYDX. We're going to try to come up with a good entry position also on Bitcoin as a leading indicator. And right now we'll just just look through the uh, the market right now we see a little bit of pullbacks bnb pulling back just a bit ethereum had a big pullback yesterday we got a we were as low as five percent at one point or six percent or so uh we got a little bit of a bounce a one a one percent bounce overall so not bad but i think we're going to get a continuation of, for a short term pullback okay it's just short term that's what i believe bnb uh, getting a little bit of a pullback xrp getting that pullback could we break structure and create a lower low now we got to bounce off that previous low not quite a break of structure but when we get a brown bounce off of the previous low it starts to think or to look like a head and shoulders formation right so it could be that we get that head and shoulders and if we break the neckline we could be coming down slowly and of course if you're bullish on xrp guys buy those dips cardano same thing getting a pullback we see pullbacks throughout the market they're not excessive okay i'm not saying oh my god we're in a bear market all of a sudden again actually we are technically still in a bear market okay let's be real a lot, a lot of the guys out there on on social media are saying we're in a bull market or back in bull market guys there's no indicator of that we could get a relief rally within a bear market definitely but we are i believe that we will get another opportunity to buy the dip nice and heavy at good areas okay so make sure you have that gunpowder that dry powder ready to go if we get a severe dip you're bullish enough to buy it okay so right now we didn't even back test the major breakout yet no back test whatsoever so we're still in a bear market and the trend is your friend until we break structure no bro structures have been broken yet okay just the trend trend is good but we back test trend and then we take um uh, an attempt at breaking structure okay we're gonna look at charts soon 
Oh, OKB going sideways. Solana, a little bit of a dip, but somewhat sideways, but a little bit of a dip. I wouldn't scale in yet. Um, Avalanche, nice little dip. I'm, I'm I'm seeing that people bought the dip. We kind of broke structure just a bit, creating a lower low, a little bit of a lower low. But we got that bounce. I'm, I'm expecting a continuation, guys, or at least a retest of that previous, of that low to see if uh, maybe we get some bullish divergence. And if we do, guys, like maybe maybe that was it. That was the little breather, that little 5% or whatever it is. I doubt it, guys. I think that we're going to come down just a little bit more, get some more bullishness, and then we'll get a nice, a nice little rocket to the top. That's what I want I want to see, guys. And, it, and it's absolutely healthy, and it's absolutely bullish to expect breathers or pullbacks throughout the market as we go up to higher levels, okay? So Uniswap comes coming down i i want to skill into uniswap just for the mere fact that it could be taking on the binance smart chain volume um you know getting that partnership with binance smart chain bsc that would be really bullish for uniswap as a project in general as a decentralized exchange that currently only focuses on erc20 tokens it could be really really bullish to see some of that volume that we've seen in the previous bull market with all those meme coins on bsc we could see it on uniswap and those of us that want to trade on uniswap with those high gas fees now can appreciate the fact that bsc has low gas fees and perhaps we can get some activity there on uniswap so i'm looking maybe to buy the dip whenever i see some good good red action get into my bullish stance and buy the dips heavy because i believe in the fundamentals um leo token taking a, a nice bounce to the upside chain link retracement uh aptos continuing guys aptos aptos i don't know if you follow me on the channel if you do you know right now i have a love hate relationship right now with aptos aptos has been taken off and unfortunately i didn't buy heavy enough when i wanted to when we wanted to when we analyzed aptos a while back we didn't get in where we wanted to as much as i would wish and it's up 125 percent in the last seven days crazy crazy gains guys um yeah whatever whatever i'm not buying into the pump i'm not we could come down equally as hard who knows 88 percent retracements are so common look at bitcoin from the top 88 percent retracement it happens all the time okay so let's just cool off and wait if it doesn't we'll look for the next project at least we're getting in from a good risk to reward ratio guys we don't want to take any risk risks we're not gamblers we're investors we're traders and we want to get in at a position where it gives us the edge and the strength not the opposite okay so let's continue here quant looking good but i'm expecting bearish divergence on a lot of these projects guys we go live at 7 30 and we talk about a lot of the coins a lot of the projects here and we look at a lot of ta and yesterday's video we kind of concluded that many of these altcoins are showing similar patterns with bearish divergence and that the only way we are going to invalidate that bearish divergence is creating a higher high on the rsi now tonight at 7 30 we'll go back and check that out again to see how the market is generally reacting here and if if that is fulfilled but i doubt it okay i doubt it but anyways filecoin getting a stronger bounce than most projects that's looking pretty bullish in my book when you get those strong bounce that means that the bulls are going in heavy and up approximately 20 percent in the last seven days pretty good algorand getting a little bit of a dip their hash graph slow melting down sloping price action uh you know what at the end of the day, we're coming down to the bottom of the range and we could get some support there. I would like to look at ha uh, Hedera Hashgraph maybe in the next couple of days. Guys, obviously, let me know in the comment section below if you have any projects you want me to cover on the channel. Uh, VeChain, VeChain, VeChain. A little bit of a bounce here going sideways. I like VeChain. I'm scaling in. It's a project that's been quiet and, and the team has still been very, very active despite um, a bear market and despite the lack of interest right now uh, that the community has on vchain it's still building all it takes is one catalyst and forget about it this thing will take off and that's my opinion not financial advice uh internet computers you know i've been ignoring icp for a while maybe we're due for a, a video update yeah I'm, I'm putting this on my list obviously i put precedent on the projects that are popular and the projects that you guys re request both live uh, on my live stream and here on the chat if you request it i put precedent i put it up in priority right um what else what else little pullbacks you know synthetics getting a nice little bounce after that dip you know it's starting to look like you know the bounce could be we could reclaim previous highs no doubt but the momentum i just gotta look at the moment as a momentum trader i put a lot of value on the momentum and then i look for confluence 
with other indicators. And of course, if I find confluence, I'm confident. Confluence gives you confidence. All right, guys, let's get into the charts. I know you're here to talk about charts. We know Bitcoin has been doing its thing for the last little while. And, you know, we wait patiently. We don't get into the pumps. And Bitcoin right now has broken trend. We went live yesterday right when it was happening. And we talked about the fact that we could backtest this breakdown. And this is what we're doing at the moment. And this is absolutely bullish. It's absolutely fine in fact it's starting to look like a downward sloping channel and i'm starting to believe that if we break that channel we could potentially come up for another leg to the upside that could continue our bearish divergence overall and that would still give me the indicator that you know we may be rolling over especially if we don't create a higher high on the price action what i mean is to exactly just come up to this level right here at about $23,400 or so and eventually roll over and even at 886 retracement to about even slightly below anywhere within this range i'm expecting people to pile in those shorts with an antici uh, anticipation for more continuation to the downside and the reason being is that we are getting bearish divergence yesterday we've been talking about bearish divergence for uh, about a week almost okay and yesterday we're starting to see other uh, crypto influencers talking about this bearish divergence okay so i'm glad that we that's an indicator to me that we are definitely staying one step ahead and we're preparing for that right we we don't want to be with mainstream um youtube or in, mainstream indicators we want to make sure that we are planning ahead of time and that way we can align our portfolios accordingly now right now what i'm going to try to do here is prepare for a potential pump because right uh, as we speak we are getting a uh, you know a bullish pennant it's pretty clear a bullish pennant um but again, I'm not discrediting the fact that we are getting bearish divergence. And for those of, for those of you that are new here, um, bearish divergence is when the price action is going up, right? We are going up with price action while the RSI is coming down. But we are getting a bear, a bullish, a bull pennant right here, which means that if we break above uh, twenty uh, three thousand dollars or so, it could be that we get another leg up to the upside. And usually, it's equal to the pull, the 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 pole of the flag, which is like that. Okay. Now, another conservative approach would be taking it from the opening of this wedge, which would be something like this, okay? Now, as I'm doing this, I'm also thinking, what do the Fibonacci extension levels look like? Okay, so maybe something like this, right? And we'll do that right at this level. So at this point, we could get another leg up. We could. Now, if we do not have enough volume or bullishness in the market to create a higher high, and we get a double top with this bearish divergence, guys, that would be really, really bearish in my book. I would start looking for short positions. Obviously, not financial advice, not trading advice, but from a perspective of what I would do, I would start looking for short positions and be prepared to take profits right at the point of control or maybe right here at the break of structure of this whole wedge, upward sloping wedge, at about uh, $20,400 or so right or maybe trail down my stop loss if we happen to get down to this level and then wait to see if we hit the golden pocket at nineteen thousand dollars or so that would be a, a decent retracement now obviously we got to see because we could get a higher high here hit the trend line has happened let's pl pencil this in it has happened you know we get a higher high we break out bullish we get this higher high we get rejected off this trend line we come back down but we're continuing with this bearish divergence that would be a triple bearish divergence. And in this case, the only way we're gonna invalidate this is if we create a higher high on this RSI, which means the RSI has to come up higher than this price action, this uh, RSI value right here, looking left at 92, okay? So right now, we're just trying to stay one step ahead. If we do break up, guys, it's about paying attention. That could be your entry for a short um, or a great, great take profit scenario, especially if we get a short squeeze, because many people could be going short here based on the overall sentiment, even on, you know, on social media. 
and then if we get a short squeeze we might get a nice rocket to the top with a quick quick dump to the downside and that will be the confirmation of that blow off top with that nice morning star wick that could definitely show us that we are perhaps rolling over and coming down to lower levels okay so that this is all based on my experience over trading crypto for many many years and trading forex for many many years i know forex behaves a little different than than cryptocurrencies but the principles are all the same and you have to find your own strategy okay that's my take on bitcoin i'm still in a bias uh, a, a bearish bias for a short-term pullback for a buy the dip opportunity i'm preparing for a potential continuation to the upside i'm per i personally took profits on every leverage position that i have to the upside okay my spot trade is still intact i didn't take any profits on my spot trade and i may not at this point i might just let it pull back and just buy the dip and forget about and use my profits and my leverage positions to be buying the dip okay so i'm secure either way okay so this is where i am regarding bitcoin guys if you appreciate that do the channel a huge favor slap the like button guys because as a new channel the support is greatly appreciated okay okay now let's talk about let's talk about dydx i believe it's right here that today's video is all about dydx and dydx whoa, whoa whoa let's get rid of that dydx is a great project you know what maybe we'll quickly quickly go look at what is dydx so i have it here dydx somewhere around here i saw it earlier on dydx i actually went on the website earlier on this week it's got to be here it's got to be here you know what i'll do a quick search so we don't waste your time guys i know time is precious uh d y d actually it's trending look at that it was actually trending before i even typed it it was is one of the trending projects on coin gecko well one dollar ninety cents you know got a little bit of a pullback break of structure we'll get into ta soon i want to do proper proper ta uh let's look at the website quick so what it really is Okay, I like the fact that it really boasts trading free, but look at the asterisks. Trade perpetual contracts with no fees, so it's just perpetual contracts. Um, up to 20x. I want to just tell you what's clear here on, on, on the front panel of this website. But what, what's really more important than all of this that they're offering is this. Okay, okay, this is great also. No doubt. A lot of trading pairs. But you're probably saying that this is not a lot. Look at, the, look at Binance, but Binance is not a decentralized exchange. OK, and Binance as a decentralized exchange, uh, well, this in this case, like Uniswap and many other PancakeSwap, they don't have these features like a centralized exchange does. Look at this. This looks like a, 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 a Bybit, a KuCoin, right? So you have the benefits of decentralization here with the benefits of the platform that behaves like a centralized exchange. So really, really good project. I think it has good, good, uh, a good narrative based in, uh, on the fact or piggy banking on the FTX, you know, scenario. That's a, this is a great solution to that problem. Remember, I always say software, which is what blockchain and crypto is, software needs to provide solutions to everyday problems. And this is definitely front, right and center. Okay, nothing can be said about that. Okay, let's continue with the charts. Um, guys, we've been talking about DYDX pretty early. Now, my memories, I really want to go check that out. When did we talk about it? We're getting a little bit of a pump throughout the market, a little bit of green action right now as we speak. Neural Protocol is doing good, up 5%. Wow, pretty good. Okay. What was I saying? I lost train of thought, guys. This is how passionate I am when I see charts. I get, we talked about this here uh let's see where did i talk about dydx i know i did dydx earlier on okay okay x dydx i know in your protocol where did we talk about it it's got to be here i know we did i know we did okay but anyways um dy right here right here a month ago okay a month ago now a month ago guys look where we were potentially planning out our buying opportunities right here right so that's good now we have a very similar situation if you look at this downward sloping wedge that's a a very bullish pattern because the breakout would be strong and that's what happened we broke out pretty good look at that so trade entry was right here yes we dipped a little bit more you would have been in the negatives but you didn't get stopped out because we were we put a healthy stop loss but look where we are now up pretty pretty good guys the analysis worked out the trade is in profits what kind of profits are we on 55 percent at the top 82 percent or 80 percent okay 
perfect now what now I, do we protect our gains definitely guys if you made life-changing gains take the profits if you made uh portfolio changing gains take those profits even if it helped you achieve some cert, uh, short term financial goals take those profits okay don't give them back to the exchange not to say i'm bearish but at the end of the day bearish divergence is still in play no matter what even if after this pump price action is going up in fact what i'm going to do because there's a bit of confluence here and a straight line you can touch look at these touches okay because we got bearish divergence um guys we could come down all right and bitcoin is still in that bearish divergence scenario without being invalidated we didn't invalidate this bearish divergence this even if we got this wick to the upside and mind you um the rsi does not include wicks okay it doesn't include the wicks so the wicks are sometimes deceiving because they could be just be pump and dumps or massive liquidity you know scenarios by whales and manipulation and so on so a lot of the times we ignore wicks for that reason but i do consider it for the most part for my price action trading and looking for confluence but right now we can see where the bearish divergence is still intact if you look at the macd it's in the same boat we have two indicators showing us the same scenario let's zoom in here for a sec same scenario now the macd is a lagging indicator so it will take some time to see some of these green histogram bars populated and as long as we are downward sloping as these histogram bars grow and maybe fall, roll over as long as it's downward sloping guys we have bearish divergence also on the macd and on the rsi and guys that's the name of the game look at this red volume in the in the red candle in the volume right so we got a nice pullback could this be that morning star that wicked that in, in the sky that could potentially indicate a short-term reversal possible guys possible that's why i say take those profits if you made any profits that are meaningful just take them just take them or trail up those stop losses so you secure some of those gains if you appreciate this if you appreciate the um the analysis and the you know the the overall alpha that i offer you here do yourself a favor subscribe and click the bell okay so now let's look at support now we could come down let's get some support lines we could come down i'm not going to put it here because you know what we fell below uh, jittered underneath the 200 ema and then got right back up let's put it right here to just to this is an upward slope sloping megaphone which technically speaking should break down bearish okay because we lose momentum it's hard to keep up the upward sloping scenario and making those higher highs as the highs get even higher based on the trend right it's very hard to pick to keep up that momentum and eventually it gets exhausted so this is where i'm at where i'm at is could dydx continue its bullish trend to the upside or are we getting a perfect opportunity to get into a short position okay long-term bags i'm gonna leave mine alone right because at the end of the day with spot we got great entries and the previous high is right here, which could act as a magnet. And if you look at the VPVR as we speak, we have a huge cluster of supply and demand that is basically tapering off right where the price action got rejected. And that is very, very typical, okay? With the VPVR and using it as uh, an indicator, very, very typical scenario. So I'm gonna put a, a trend line in here. I'm so compelled to remove this uh, trade setup, but you know what, just leave it till we keep it in mind looking left top top bottom bottom you know and right now this area we're closing but if we close below you know even the the value area high on the vpvr if we close below this zone guys it just means that we're getting rejected we could possibly roll over right so this is why i'm saying risk to reward in the short short term means perhaps we're coming down for a, a buy the dip opportunity and on the four hour what could that mean let's take a fibonacci to see if we find some confluence swing low to swing high and this could be the swing high 0.5 fib down to this level any confluence look at this we have a little bit of a volume gap here on the vpvr okay and another volume gap right here uh which is confident with the golden pocket so we got some good interesting things happening the 200 ema is right there this price action straight uh down like this is yeah that's a gap for sure and this means that if we break below we could come down i'm looking at the golden pocket like a good area for buying the dip 
because of the 200 and the fact that we have this trend line here that would act as support as the time unfolds maybe we come down and we hit this zone buying the dip i'm going to put a green arrow there because that's what i would do if we had the opportunity to get a good sale on dydx that would be not bad and then again point of control down here at a dollar 20 is also a great area because we have the absolute greatest amount of supply and demand here that will act as support and from the grand scheme of things if you look at the trend right let's kind of fix this trend we broke down and broke right back up this trend trend line even right here look at that actually point of control is perfect i did uh, now that i adjusted the trend line because we covered it a month ago right so we kind of have to adjust a little bit now now yeah I, I, if we break below like uh, I'm, I'm saying even point of control i don't know if we're going to come that low if we do obviously have some conviction buy those dips but before you put any buy orders in make sure you see that the rsi resets don't buy in blindly like that a lot of people put just buy orders based on price action for me i wait for momentum indications are we exhausted Right now, it shows a little bit of exhaustion from the from the bulls, a little bit of exhaustion. So I'm a little bit confident to go short, especially on spot. Um, 1x, right? That's what I mean. Now, if we come down, wait for the RSI to come down to lower levels, get into oversold, okay? Get into a very oversold scenario, and then wait for bullish divergence, wait for those oscillators to show you that, wait for the MACD to get into a very extreme bearish scenario, and then wait for W's, inverse head and shoulders with that divergence, and then you start scaling in. Now, if that happens at the golden pocket, at least you know you got confluence by the dip. If it breaks down and it continues to the downside, we might get a squeeze or something like that. At least you have some confidence to buy the dip here at $1.28. That's the strategy, guys. Scale in slowly, buy the dips, and put those stop losses just in case. Because if it breaks down and it goes against your trade, which happens and it's very normal, even the best traders get stopped out sometimes, it's okay. You wait for the next trade setup and you'll make it back don't re revenge trade don't get in right right quick wait for the next indicators wait for the momentum to reset wait for the the divergences wait for all the indicators that you build with your strategy and then get back in okay so don't let emotions get to you right now dydx looks like to me a little exhausted in my book in my opinion um and I, i'm thinking that maybe it's time to take a profit look at this bearish divergence that we had here clear bearish divergence wow this was amazing and then we phew, dumped all the way down, right? And we stayed down here touching this area for a while. The bears were strong here. Did the bears lose all their strength all at once out of nowhere? They're going to respond one day. And we just hope that when they respond, they don't respond as hard and that the bulls respond stronger. And eventually we get an accumulation stage where we're creating higher lows and that's going to give us really really bullish indication that we're going to continue to the upside creating higher lows and higher highs and hopefully we can come down to this higher low buy the dip and then get that higher high and, and enjoy those gains all right guys if you've um if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel click that bell button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos in addition if you uh, follow me on twitter i'm going to give you a lot of alpha everything that i'm thinking throughout the day regarding news and price action tiktok instagram guys it's a place to be um yeah that's all i have for you today thank you for stopping by take care have a good one and don't forget buy the dip Thank you.